As the U.S. Air Force seeks a replacement for the MQ-9 Reaper drone, U.S. defense giants Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman besides others are working on a long-range, stealthy design concept for the emerging MQ Next competition. Northrop Grumman has proposed the concept of the new SG-2 flying wing for the MQ Next, to replace the MQ-9 Reaper drones, with the concept bearing a lot of resemblance to the firm's X-47B unmanned air vehicle, UAV. According to Northrop, the SG-2, apart from having similar physical features also has a shared mission control software called the Distributed Autonomy, Responsive Control DA, RC, software program. The DA, RC software, which was the mission control software behind the X-47B successful autonomous aircraft carrier landing in 2013 and its successful autonomous in-flight refueling in 2015, will be used to control the stealthy SG-2s. Through the software, the human controller can control a range of aircraft simultaneously. Like the 432nd, this is probably, if not the most combat engaged wing in the Air Force, it's certainly among the top few. As we continue to prosecute the fight against violent extremists, and as we continue to produce intelligence surveillance reconnaissance for the general force, you know, this wing is absolutely essential to them. Our ability to fight and win is dependent to a large extent on how we sense the globe and turn that sensing into decision quality information. So much as that is done by the air right here at the 432nd. So again, uh, I couldn't be prouder of the take the fight to the enemy every day and it happens right here preach. Been incredibly impressed by the men and women here in the field of the From their professionalism, their disciplined execution, they demonstrate 24-7, 365, what this community brings to the fight. And I am humbled to be a part of the team that has proven day in and day out that they can deliver. And that delivery has resulted in success in the battlefield and frankly has led to the destruction of ISIS and allowed us to achieve all that's been accomplished here in 2017. The Secretary of Defense has given us a task that is to focus on the improving the lethality and the readiness of the force to do the missions that the nation expects of us. And uh, anybody who really wants to see what that looks like come to Creech Air Force Base. I think there are incredible warriors here. Vice President of Advanced Programs for Future Combat Unmanned Air Systems, Northrop Grumman, Richard Sullivan, says instead of using a stick, rudder and a yoke, instead of using a mouse to click waypoints, you just define what objectives you want to have. With the U.S. Air Force embarking on a new journey to field a replacement for the Reaper drones in June, a host of defense firms have stepped up with new concepts for the MQ Next competition, with Northrop Grumman being one of them. The MQ Next program, which is an effort to find an Armed Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance ISR, UAV has been provided with the concept by Northrop, who have offered the U.S. Air Force a family of systems for the program starting in 2030. According to the company, the SG-2 concept is just one of Northrop's forthcoming proposals for the program. The U.S. Air Force has relied on the MQ-1 Predator and the MQ-9 Reaper, both built by General Atomics, as the main drones for surveillance and strike missions in the Middle East over the last two decades. According to Will Roper, the Air Force's top acquisition official, with the entry of commercial drone makers, it is considered economical and effective to operate a family of drones that are built to carry out high-end penetrating strike and reconnaissance missions and others for low-end surveillance from commercial off-the-shelf manufacturers. You might make the case that the Department of the Air Force needs both, but I wanted to give our team time to discuss industry options that exist on both sides of that divide. 
We've got a lot of interesting responses, and I'm in discussions right now with the operational side of the Air Force about what they think the requirement is going to be, said Roper while speaking to reporters.